Hi there, this is Mark P. Summers from Information Street. So this video tells you about how to edit or indeed add new products. Under WooCommerce, you'll see a product link and you'll see the products you imported, if you imported any, listed um, on that list. If you'd like to edit the ones you've imported, you simply click on the file name or the product name and you'll notice on the right hand side you've got an Infusionsoft product ID. This was automatically linked when it imported the product. You shouldn't need to change that. Here under visual mode, it allows you to add a great description about your product and that will all go in there. And that appears next to the product name. So if we go into the front end of the site, go back to the shop and go to a product, you will see the description is under product description here. So this one that we're currently editing doesn't have a description. You can add media and other graphics uh, to the product or you can uh, change the images etc um, under featured image down the bottom here as well. Now once you've made those changes you click on update and as soon as you've made those changes your website will have those new descriptions listed here. Now you can use HTML in your descriptions, it's a visual editor just like a WordPress page or post. So for example, let's look at this one here, you can see there's underline, there's bold, there's colour, uh, etc. And those then show up in your shop in a nice way. So you can really design uh, some great looking descriptions for your, uh, for your products. Okay, so that's how you edit a product. To add a new product, under products, there's this simple add product button and you click on that. It gives you an empty form where we um, can add a product name. We can give it a great description. And uh, finally down here is the SKU. That's a reference number similar to what you see in Infusionsoft. It's always a good idea when you're linking products together to have a SKU. So we'll give that AGP for a great product, one, two, three. The regular price is 123 and it's set um, 123 pounds in this case. But if you've set WooCommerce to work with dollars, it will say dollars there. Um, but as you probably can tell by my uh, proper English and my accent, um, I'm um, from the UK. So that's um, the, the, the price there. On the right hand side, you've got the infusions of product ID. Now, if you know it, you can put it here, but you don't need to worry too much about that because the first time an order is placed, our system will then look in your products and see whether that matches the products in Infusionsoft. But if that product isn't already in Infusionsoft, then you don't need to add one there. It will add it to Infusionsoft and automatically fill that in uh, for you. Okay, and then finally we can add a tag when uh, that product is purchased. So this is, helps you if you want to just see what uh, products people have ordered by tags. You can select a, a tag category. So if I select my prospects category here, it will then load all the tags within the, the prospect. And in this case, we're gonna add the prospects consultation tag when someone buys this. But the product will also, or the order, will also trigger a purchase goal as well. So that's editing your, um, your product. You can put the product into a category, etc. All of these features that are normally in WooCommerce are there for you. Uh, we're not uh, affecting any of those features. So take a look at the WooCommerce website and see more videos there about how to add, edit and manipulate your products. Once you're done, once you've made any changes, you simply click on publish and it will then add that product for you. The, once you've published that new product, that publish button changes to update because you're no longer publishing it now, you're just updating it. And now when we go to our shop, our great product, our test product is going to be sitting there. There it is, add a product name um, is the test product that we created. Now we didn't add a image for it, so it's given us just this little default thumbnail. We can add an image down the bottom here. It says uh, set the featured image and in here, we can then simply just choose something that's already been uploaded or we can upload a new file by browsing on our uh, computer for it. Just for ease, we'll use that 
picture there and again update and once it's updated we then find that that, Im that product now has a little image both on the main screen and also it's created a special little thumbnail on the other screens for us. So that's adding and editing products. Once those products are added, if anyone orders them, if they're not already in Infusionsoft, they'll be added in Infusionsoft automatically. So you do not need to add them into both. Add them into Infusionsoft first and then use our import tool or add them into Woo first and it will automatically put them into Infusionsoft uh, for you. So uh, that's how to add and edit products.